हेलो हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू एम आय ऑडिबल माझा आवाज ऐकायला येतोय सर्वांना अनम्यूट येतोय ना हॅलो येतोय ना थँक्यू काय अगोदर थोडं टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लेम झाला मला लाईट पण गेलेली आणि त्याच्यामुळे प्रॉब्लेम झाला परत आपण लिंक पाठवतोय तुम्हाला ठीक आहे सर्वांच आय एम वेलकमिंग ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस इंग्लिश वेबिनॉर आणखीन बघू आणखीन कोण कोण जॉईन व्हायचं बाकी आहेत आपण त्यांना जॉईन करून घेऊया अँड देन वी शॅल कंटिन्यू अवर लेक्चर मी आय माझा फेस दिसतोय तुम्हाला कोणीतरी बोला दिसतोय माझा फेस दिसतोय ओके ओके थँक्यू राईट सो नाव ओके जस्ट मिनिट राईट सर्वात प्रथम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आय वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस फर्स्ट लेक्चर सो टुडे वी शॅल स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर आज आपण आपलं लेक्चर स्टार्ट करूया इथे मला दिसतात मुजावर फैज मुजावर सादिक नाईक परदीन भागवान श्रेयस खानविलकर ठीक आहे सात आठ जण दिसतात सो वी शॅल कंटिन्यू नो प्रॉब्लेम राईट नाव आता इथे आय शॅल शेअर माय पी पी टी अँड आय शॅल एक्सप्लेन यू ओके नाव ऑल ऑफ यू म्यूट युअर व्हॉइस सर्वांना आपलं म्यूट करा अँड वेन एव्हर आय आस्क क्वेश्चन दॅट टाइम यू हॅव टू गिव्ह रिप्लाय ठीक आहे आता सर्वजण म्यूट करा आणि आपण आता कंटिन्यू करूया आपल्या लेक्चरला सो टुडे वी शॅल स्टार्ट वन पॉईंट फोर the poem all the world is a stage right so before going to start shuruvat karnya agodar apan he karnar ahot we shall discuss some general points can you tell me the seven wonders of seven wonders of the world give any any uh, any one wonder of the world जगामध्ये जे सात आश्चर्य म्हणले जाते त्याच्यापैकी कोणी एक जण सांगू शकाल ग्रेट वॉल ऑफ चायना ओके देन अनदर वन एनी वन ओके लेट इट बी वी शेल नॉट वेस्ट अवर टायमिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ नाव आय एम गोईंग टू शो यू वन व्हिडिओ प्लीज वॉच इट बॅक टू एस टी वर्ल्ड सो टुडे व्हिडिओ इज अबाउट सेव्हन वॉन्डर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट वन इज ग्रेट वॉल ऑफ चायना The Great Wall of China is a stone and earth fortification created to protest the borders of the Chinese empire from invading Mongols. The Great Wall is actually a succession of multiple walls spanning approximately 4000 miles making it the world's longest man-made structure. Second one is Christ the Redeemer statue, Rio de Janeiro. The Art Deco style Christ the Redeemer statue has been looming over the Brazilians from upon Crocovado mountain in an awe-inspiring state of eternal blessing since 1931. The 130-foot reinforced concrete and soft stone statue was designed by Idiria da Silva Costa and cost approximately $250,000 to build. Much of the money was raised through donations. The statue has become an easily recognized icon for Rio and Brazil. Third one is Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is an Incan citadel set high in the Andes mountains in Peru, above the Urubamba River valley. Built in the 15th century and later abandoned, it's renowned for its sophisticated dry stone wall that fuses huge blocks without the use of mortar. intergoing buildings that play on astronomical alignments and panoramic views fourth one is chichen itza the genius and adaptability of mayan culture can be seen in the splendid ruins of chichen itza this powerful city a trading center for cloth slabs honey and salt 
flourished from approximately 800 to 1200 and acted as the political and economic hub of the Mayan civilization. And the fifth one is the Roman Colosseum. The Colosseum in Rome was built in the first century by order of the Emperor Vespasian. The Colosseum or Colosseum, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater is an oval amphitheater in the center of the city of Rome, Italy. Built of travertine, limestone, tough and brick-faced concrete, it was the largest amphitheater ever built at the time and held 50,000 spectators. And the sixth one is Taj Mahal, Agra, India. A Muslim commenced for wife of Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. The Taj Mahal was built between 1632 and 1648, considered the most perfect specimen of Muslim art in India. The white marble structure actually represents a number of architectural styles including Persian, Islamic, Turkic and Indian. The Taj Mahal also encompasses formal gardens of raised pathways, sunken flower beds and a linear reflecting pool. And the last one is Petra, Jordan. Petra is a famous archaeological site in Jordan's southwestern desert. Dating to around 300 BC, it was the capital of the Nabataean Kingdom. Accessed by a narrow canon called ALSIQ, it contains tombs and temples curved into pink sandstone cliffs, earning its nickname the Rhodes City. Perhaps its most famous structure is 45 meter high Eyal Khazne, a temple with an ornate Greek style facade and known as the treasury. So this is all about 7 wonders of the world. Hope this video will give some information about those and please stay connected with ST World because we are going to upload some amazing amazing video for you guys and thank you. Okay so this was a brief introduction or a short biography of the poet William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare he is widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's preeminent dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and nicknamed the Bard of Avon. He was born in 23rd April, 1564, in Stratford-upon-Avon, Warwickshire, England. His father's name was John Shakespeare and mother's name was Mary Arden. His father was a successful local businessman and mother was the daughter of a landowner. Shakespeare was the third son of his parents. He was baptized on April 26, 1564. Little is known of Shakespeare's childhood and education. It is speculated that he attended the King's New School in Stratford, where he learned to read and write. Since all the grammar schools then followed the same curricula, it is believed that he received intensive education in grammar based upon Latin classical authors. Shakespeare married Anne Hathaway at the age of 18 in 1582. She was eight years older than him. They had three children. They are Susanna Hall, Hamnet Shakespeare, and Judith Quiney. William Shakespeare has been conferred with the honor of being England's national poet and bard of Avon. Though it's not exactly known as to when did Shakespeare begin his writing career, records of performances show that his play started to feature on the London stage by 1592. Scholars refer to the years between 1585 and 1592 as Shakespeare's lost years. In 1592, London theatre scene, Shakespeare's writings were called as rubbish by another play writer. Afterwards, the same play writer documented his biography. Shakespeare's play were solely performed by Lord Chamberlain Company in 1594, of which Shakespeare himself was one of the actors. After the Queen Elizabeth died, the new King James I issued a royal patent to the company, and it was renamed as the King's Men. In 1598, 
William Shakespeare's name appeared on the title page of the work. By 1599, Shakespeare's work were famous all over the globe. He continued writing until at least 1613. He wrote 38 dramas, 154 sonnet, two long poem. His best work was Hamlet, Othello, Romeo and Juliet, Julius Caesar, Macbeth, etc. Talking about the style that Shakespeare adopted for his work, he was extremely innovative. He adapted the traditional and convention style in his own way by adding metaphors and rhetorical phrases. However, the additions hardly ever align to the plot or the characters of this story. He died on 23 April 1616 at the age of 52 at his hometown. He died within a month of signing his will, a document which he begins by describing himself as being in perfect health. In his will, Shakespeare left the bulk of his large estate to his elder daughter Susanna. All that glitters is not gold, said William Shakespeare. So now we shall start the poem. And the name of the poem is All the World is a Stage, written by William Shakespeare. Actually, his a short information also given in your textbook. You can read it. But I have showed in form of video because it's a little bit effective or impressive. That is why. So first of all, I, will, I would like to ask one question to you. Anyone can give the answer. Do you know the stages of life or which are, the, which are they? Anyone can tell the stages of life? Yes, please. Which are the stages of life? Stages means, for example, in which stage you are now? Suppose your age is near about 15, 14, 15, 16, in between 14 to 16 years. Okay. So in which stage? It is a stage of teenage called Kishore in Mula. So how many stages are there in man's life? Anyone can answer, please? Four. Four stages. Please tell its names. Give the name of that uh, four stages. If you're not comfortable in English, you can give the answer in Marathi, no problem. But try to speak. Adolescent, that is called teenage. Very good. Next one. Then? Adult. Adult. Adult stage, right. Very good. Next. Okay. We shall not waste your time. Now, let's see here. I have given here the stages of life. And these are, you can watch on screen. Age group and stages. One, from birth to two years, that stage is called babyhood or infancy stage. First one, first stage. Second stage, year or age between three years to 12 years, it is called childhood stage. And next stage, third one, the age between 13 years to 17, it is called teenage or adolescence. That means now, you are in which stage? Which stage? Childhood or teenage? Adolescence, right. Teenagers. Adolescence or teenage stage. Next stage, fourth one is that in between age, between 18 years to about 14 years, it is adulthood. That is, proud And next stage is that about 45 years to 60 years, it is a middle age. And above 65 years to 75 to 80, senior citizen or elderly person. And last stage that is above 80 years, that is an old age, extremely old age or second childhood. We can so in this poem, 
we shall see there are seven stages of life how many stages of life how many stages of life please tell seven, seven right now first of all we shall see the theme please mute your voice please please mute it <clears throat> theme of the poem now whatever this uh, now we are going to learn the poem all the world is stage the poem kontya theme varti adharit ahe that that is the explanation is given this poem is taken from william shakespeare's play as you like it who was william shakespeare who was william shakespeare william shakespeare was a poet or a dramatist and he has written so many dramas and one of them was as you like it what is as you like it as you like it is it is a name of his drama or play and this poem all the world is a stage is taken from that drama do you understand what i am telling you please yes or no mi je bolto te tumhala samajhte aikale te clearly नाही येत येत आहे ना मी कंटिन्यू मी कंटिन्यू कंटिन्यू करू ना मी ओके हा सो द थीम ऑफ द पोएम ऑर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द पोएम इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस पोएम इज टेकन फ्रॉम शेक्सपियर्स वन ऑफ द प्ले प्ले मीन्स ड्रामा अँड दॅट नेम ऑफ द ड्रामा इज ॲज यू लाईक इट हिअर he compares in this poem the shakespeare compares the world to a stage shakespeare has compared to world world to the stage the world is directly indirectly compared with stage where the drama of human life is enacted drama means play human we all the people enacted means playing our role do you understand so you my, i am a teacher i am also playing my role okay as a teacher you are a student which role you are playing in this world or in this on this earth which role you are playing on this earth stage of world please tell tumhi sanga ekadene uttar dya you are playing the role of students okay so here the total world is compared to stage so next theme is that suppose if you ask the question what is the theme or central idea the against the same answer you will be there the theme of this poem is the cycle of life cycle of life means stages of life do you understand cycle of life means stages of life it tells us how one starts out an infant infant means newborn baby newborn child our play our drama starts from childhood at means newborn baby and newborn baby's qualities it is very helpless helpless means newborn baby cannot do himself or herself te swata kai karu shakat nahi these are the qualities of infant and without understanding who is helpless and without understanding who is help helpless and without understanding please give the answer who is helpless and without understanding koni tar ek jan uttar dya hm infant infant manje kay new born child nuktas janmalele baal hi janma aplya aayushya madli pahili stage ahe ani hi cycle dakhavlele and ends the same way ani ashas prakare je new born baby is a helpless and without understanding it cannot understand ko nahi tala kai kalat nasto and when the, at the, the seven stage madhe manu jeva pochto at the end of the same way at the seven stage without being aware of what is happening around one so if the person man or woman 
crosses above 80 years above 90 years that time his condition became like a child या वयामध्ये देखील त्याची अवस्था एखाद्या चाईल प्रमाणेच होती सो इन दिस इन शॉर्ट इन दिस पोएम दर पोएट पोएट हॅज डिस्क्राइब्ड सेवन स्टेजेस ऑफ लाईफ सो वन बाय वन वी शॅल सी द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द लाईन्स नाव लेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट टू लाईन्स द फर्स्ट टू लाईन्स आर लाईक दिस ऑल द वर्ल्ड all the world is a stage and all the men and women merrily players what is the explanation of this all the world is a stage so here the world is compared to stage he sampurna jag ek prakar cha natka cha stage saman ahe the world is like a stage and ja pramane on stage on drama stage the actors plays their different roles and who in this drama stage in this stage of the world all the men and women merrily players merrily means only and players means actors who are playing different roles do you understand in this world drama stage who are who are actors here who are actors please give the answer who are actors on this world drama men and women right merrily merrily means only players and players here the take the meaning of players means actors who are playing different role for example now just you told me that you are student and you are playing the role of students your father mother i am a teacher so different roles we are the human being these people play the roles on the world drama or world on this stage next two lines are like this they have their exit and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts his acts being seven ages so in this world drama there is a exit and their entrance as you know that drama or theater ekada natka cha theater madhe picture cha hall madhe aplyala maiti asto तिथे एंट्रान्स आणि एक्झिट असतो त्या स्टेजवरती येण्यासाठी सो या जग जाग जगाच्या स्टेजवरती विच इज द एंट्रान्स अँड वन मॅन इन इज टाइम प्लेस मेनी पार्ट हिज ऍक्ट आर बिंग सेवन एजेस सो एंट्रान्स मीन्स अवर बॉर्न बर्थ एंट्रान्स कशाला म्हणू शकतो आपण इथे born when a child born that is the first stage this is the entry of that child on the world drama on this stage and exit exit means his death now you can see on the picture the on left left side there is a newborn baby he enters on this world drama right and at the end of the stage seven state there is a funeral or the a tomb the samruti sala the tomb banlela hai that is its exit ya jaga cha natka cha stage varun to exit sala exit sala manje he became died to entrance means born and exits means death do you understand and one man in his time plays many parts so now you can understand when the child born in this world he plays a different parts which are these different parts which are these different parts a man plays on the world drama stage can anybody tell konte vegvegle to parts play karto act karto ya world stage varti world drama stage varti Hmm? just we have seen the different stages different parts 
which are they man plays different parts which are the different parts the man plays on the world drama stage tell me give the answer hmm so what if uh, right okay okay uh, just uh, mute whatever we have discussed now the seven stages of life the childhood stage then teenage stage then young stage elderly stage old stage all these stages the man plays different roles right so sometimes childhood school going boy the younger stage college going uh, youngsters then adult so these different roles uh, the man plays on this world drama stage and he act different role for example as a doctor as a teacher as a mother as a father as a student so these are the different parts the man acts on this world drama stage now let's see the next lines at first now we shall in detail we shall see the seven stages how the man plays seven stages on this world drama stage ya jagacha natkacha stage varti jagatik natkacha stage varti manus kasha prakare kon kon sat role kashi play karto te apan ithe bagnar at first now let's see the line at first the infant first line kay the man plays first role that is a infant role infant means newborn child and mewling and pucking in the nurse's arms child. right mewling and pucking on nurse's arms just minute huh? just minute just minute hmm the first role he the man plays on this stage that is the infant roles mewling and pucking in the nurse's arms mewling means crying with a soft sound chota baal je radna chota baala cha jo radna cha awaz asto that is called a mewling a soft crying and pucking means omitting in the nurse's arms so why why the poet says that that child is pucking means omitting in the nurse's arms the child born in hospital and in that hospital the nurses duty is to take care of that child so that newborn child mewling and pucking means omitting in the nurse's arms and then so this is the first role of the man who is crying and omitting that is a infant or child or newborn baby right after that first role the second stage of the man is that and the winning school boy with his satchel and shining morning face creeping like snail unwilling to school so another uh, picture you can see the school going boy the second stage of man's life is that school going boy how is he going how he goes to the school winning winning means how he goes to the school winning winning means complaining or crying tarad tarad to school la jato hai with his satchel satchel means school bag by taking his school bag the boy cries while he goes to the school means the boy does not like to go to the school mulala shaye jayla avadat nahiye so he is complaining he is crying and the most of the time you student do not like the school you like to playing the cricket you like to go to the ground and playing different game, games and you like to play with the uh, mobile so these entertainment things you like most but hardly you like the school but bare sara khup kami pramanat mulana shala avadte so that is why the poet also say that the school boy school going boy it is the second stage of life and that boy is winning winning means crying and crying why he is crying because the boy 
does not like to go to the school with his satchel with his satchel means school bag and shining morning face when the boy goes in morning time to the school there is a sunshine and it, it is a shining face but creeping like a snail the boy goes to the school like a snail creeping means walking very slowly do you understand creeping means walking very slowly like a snail snail gogal guy so here here is a uh, one figure of speech simile simile high figure of speech ate tyacha badal mi detail madhe separate lecture gheil simile like a snail so the boy walk like a snail what is the quality of snail the quality of snail is to walk very slowly so boy is walking like a snail creeping means walking very slowly why is walking slowly why the boy is walking like a snail give the answer the answer is given in the last line because unwilling to school unwilling to school means the boy is not interested to go to the school unwilling means not interested it do not like it do not wish to go to the school so if i ask the question why the poet compare the school going boy with snail kavine ta shaye janara mula chi tulna snail barobar ka keleli ahe give the answer in english she is walk how she is walk yes because she is walk snail she is because she is walking like a snail, snail. how snail walk how sn he is walking like a like a snail very good how the snail walk very speedily very fastly or very, very slow slowly. very slowly ha ah. so boy is walking very slowly that is why manun manun so the poet has compared boy with a snail right why is walking very slowly because boy boy is not interested to go to the school so we have seen the two stages of life that first stage is infant stage newborn baby stage and next stage is that school going boy stage now see the next lines of this poem and then and then the lover sighing like furnace with a awful ballad made to his mistress i bro this is the third stage of stage of life school boy going boy grows up and became a lover lover means a younger younger stage more than 18 years old we can say that right so and the lover sighing the what is the qualities of that a lover we can say sighing sighing means sighing means breathing very deeply dirgo shwasas ghene apan tela manto like furnace फर्निस फर्निस आगे की भट्टी आती ना सो हियर दिस लवर इज साइंग ब्रीदिंग लाइक फर्निस विथ अ वो फुल बैलैड मेड टू हिज मिस्ट्रीज आईब्रोज सो दिस इज अंग स्टेज लवर स्टेज इज द यंग स्टेज एंड इन दिस स्टेज दीज यंगस्टर्स लाइक टू लव समबडी you might have don't that much in uh, uh, experience that is why you cannot understand but only try to understand the meaning of these lines so in this stage this lower this younger stage boy or girl he is singing awful ballad awful means sad ballad means song sad song we can say so जैसे अपन यू नो दैट एक हा शब्द अपन बयाच वेला पिक्चर मध्य वगैरह ऐको अरे ये ब्रेकअप 
कि हाँ खेचा मे पड़ा लफड़ा मे पड़ा तो मजा मे सो हे जो स्टेज मे एनर्जेटिको एखाद भट्टी प्रमाण तो आगी आगी ज्वाला जैसे ओपा प्रकार तो साइंग लाइक फर्नेस विथ अ ओफुल बैलैड वाई ही इज मेकिंग सींगिंग ओफुल बैलैड का तो दुखद गीत गा गा तो मे टू हिज मिस्ट्रेस आईब्रोज ताकि जो बिलवड है मिस्ट्रेस है तिचे जे आईब्रोज है आईब्रोज आईब्रोज He is so indirectly we can say he is uh, uh, explaining the beauty of his beloved. The beloved cha beauty ta cha ta song mandun to gato ahe. So here, so this is the next stage of lover. That is a third stage. Now we shall move next lines. Then next stage is that the soldier stage. Which is the stage? Kitwi stage ahe soldier stage? Infant, school going boy, lover, and this is the fourth stage. Then the lines. First of all, I shall read the lines. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard, jealous in honor, sudden a quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. Now we shall see its meaning. So this is the fourth stage. That is the soldier, the lover, grew up to mota ho to, and he became a soldier. A soldier sa ki ekdom strength, power, energy ta chama dete, a full of strange and oath. Oath means promises. You know that uh, qualities of soldiers. They gives the promise. They can do anything for his country. They just say they can't do anything. They are just they promise. They are just 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 they It's compared soldier with a leopard. इतने कवि ने सैनिका ची तुलना एकाद्या leopard प्रमाणी के लिए आए leopard बरो के लिए चित्ता बरो के लिए जैसा तो full of energetic असो attacking असो he is a promising असो if he यानी एकाद्या जब थरोल तो ही तो दाख करूँ दाखो तो so full of strange oath and bearded like the part jealous in honour. जेलस इन ऑनर तो सन्म्मा जगू इच्छित ही वॉन्ट टू लीव इज लाइफ इन ऑनरेबल एंड इफ देर इज अफ एनीबडी हर्ट इज ऑनर ही बिकम जेलस जर ऑनर सन्म्मा जर को हर्ट के तो खूब जेलस पेटून उठतो खूब वाइट वाट सो दिस इज द स्टेज ऑफ दिस इज दीज आर द क्वालिटीज ऑफ सोल्जर सडन एंड क्विक इन क्वरेल ते पेशन्स कमी आतो सडन अचानकपने खूब राग यो जस तो एज यू नो दैट जस्ट देर इज अ वॉर लाइक कंडीशन इन इंडिया चाइना बॉर्डर वो तीज कंडीशन चल है जेव तो बिहार रेजिमेंट जो लीडर होता ना वेन ही वॉज अटैक बाय चाइनीज सोल्जर्स एंड जे ग्रुप के बाकी जे सोल्जर्स ना एवडा राग आला अटैक के क्विकली दे क्वेरल एंड अटैक ऑन चाइनीज सोल्जर्स या स्टेज मध्य सोल्जर्स ना पटकन राग यो अटैकिंग सीकिंग द बबल रेप्युटेशन नेक्स्ट लाइन इज लाइक दिस सीकिंग द बबल रेप्युटेशन बबल रेप्युटेशन मीन्स रेप्युटेशन मे का एक आप नाव गाव आप रेप्युटेशन प्राप्त हो समोन शूज गिव द प्रेस्टीज प्रेस्टीज डू अंडरस्टैंड कि आप थोड़स नाव वाल बबल द रेप्युटेशन सीकिंग मीन्स ट्राई टू गेट ही वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग डिफरंट ही वॉन्ट टू शो ऑफ कहीं तरी वेग कर लोकानी अपने प्रेज कराला पाजे प्रशंसा के लिए पाजे मगे का हो शो बबल बबल्स क्वालिटी का इट्स समटाइम्स इजीली बबल्स बस्ट बस्ट होता फुटन जता सो या रेप्युटेशन या नादा मधे समाइम्स ही टेक्स दी मेक्स अ यूजलेस एक्शन तो करते कभी कभी चुकी से गोष्ट करतो एंड तो बबल सारा थोड़ा सा बस देखी हो दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड सीकिंग द 
bubbles reputation even in the cannon's mouth the last line is very important the soldier is always in cannon's mouth manje kay the soldier is life is always in danger sainikach jeevan he nehmi dhoka daik asta next moment what will happen he doesn't know tela dekhil mahiti nas cannon's mouth jasa apan cannon manje tof jala bolto na that cannon so cannon's mouth indicates his life is always in danger he is always in border of danger he is always facing difficulties and problems and he is ready for that manje asa dhoka daik life risky life madhe to jagat aso so cannon lives we can say that fighting battle in form in a battle or war situation madhe to asto so this is the next stage of that is a fifth stage of life that is the soldier let's see next stanza and then the justice in fair round belly with good cap on line with eyes severe and beard of formal cut full of wise saws and modern instances and so he plays his part difficult words are good cap on lined means with excess fat from careless eating or habit but in this poem the ans uh, the meaning is act of taking bribe lots of kene next word is severe severe means very serious stern next difficult word s a w s s s means saying and uh, instances instances means for example or giving something as an example let's see the explanation of this stanza fifth stage of life in this fifth stage is where the young aggressive soldier grows into a middle aged adult who has settled as a professionally judge high ranking judge from having a short tempered young man young soldier this young man settled or changed into mid life with a fair round belly this round belly indicates indirectly says to wealth and prosperity it shows the middle aged or middle aged man's wealth and prosperity however there is indication that this wealth and prosperity have not come through honor and the fire that the man emulated as a soldier but it is the product of capon capon means a bribe his eyes are no more burning with motivation and drive but have become savior serious having learned the ways of the world and his beard that once carried leopard whiskers has now been fashioned into a formal professional cut to suit his age and professional role from being a reluctant school going boy then transferred to a hopeless lover and a spirited soldier and now the man lives a life of wise saws who is uh, showing himself as a clever or intelligent which translates to old saying that he neatly applies to the modern life as deem deem means to consider to judge something particular way to give advice fit by him the man's maturation into a worldly being reaches a climactic point in this fifth stage stanza the sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloons with spectacles on nose and pouch on side is a youthful hose well saved a world too wide 
for his shank shank and his big manly voice turning again toward childish trouble pipes and whistles in his sound difficult words may be first one shifts means to change next slippered pantaloons means thin legs in slippers and baggy pants it shows old age next difficult word is youthful hose means clothes fitting covering for legs next word is shank s h a n k shank means the part of the leg between the knee and the ankle next word treble treble means high or shrill voice karkash awaz let's see the explanation of this sixth stage of life in the sixth stage of the poem the man enters the elderly act of life as an old man requiring spectacles to help or to support his vision made weak with ages with the school boy satchel now replaced with a small pouch that is enough to carry all his humble old daily necessities in this stage shakespeare calls the man a sleeper wearing pantaloon which means a fool which strikes a contrast with his old role as a judge where he only dealt with wise saying the man's fat belly has been transformed with age into a shrunk frame his big manly voice that could once be associated with the common canon's mouth has now reduced to childish treble means to increase three times in size treble means to increase three times in size or amount with his voice interjected with whistles and pipes mujhe tonda cha chambu hoto ekada lahan mula pramane dat naslya karnane indicating shortness of breath it is through this fifth stage signifying old age that shakespeare has shown how age dissipated the fire of youth and the grand grandeur amassed through adult life next line last stage last scene of all that ends this strange eventful history its second childness and mere oblivion sans teeth sans eyes sans taste sans everything difficult word may be second childness means a return to the helpless innocent state of a child next difficult word is oblivion oblivion means the state of being unaware unconscious we can say of what is happening around man you know santra kai kalat nahi kai challe aje badle lahan baal sense sense means without nahi not let's say the explanation of the last stage that is seventh stage the final line that means this final stage signifies the final stage of a man's life that is when he is on his deathbed at the end of his eventful personal history his life shakespeare has likened or to say someone like or say similar to this seventh stage to the first stage means shakespeare compared first stage with last stage that is seventh stage calling it is a second childness because during this last stage of life a man becomes senile senile means showing poor mental ability because old age especially being unable to think clearly and make decisions he cannot take any decisions unable to think during this time the man indeed becomes unable as an infant having lost his teeth vision eyes and just about everything as he once was in his nurse's arm so the f- infant stage that is the first stage 
is as similar as the final stage that is the seventh stage so friends i hope you might have liked this video if you liked it please share it if you have any suggestions for me please write in comment box wish you good day take care thank you very much